what up and welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna be making cookie butter cheesecake bites okay i thought it was the perfect snacky snack for the fall i just i don't know i got a i was in a mood for like cookie butter like i kept seeing it and i was like you know what i want to make something with cookie butter so i was like i'm gonna do cheesecake bites so this is an experiment so you have to bear with me i'm using one block of cream cheese and i'm using this one bag of oreo minis the oreo minis are gonna be my crust i couldn't find the cookie butter cookies and i ain't have them so i was like you know what i'm thinking on my feet and i think it was a color thing for me because oreo minis cookie butter everything's kind of like a bright or a tan color like yellowish tan either way i just was like let me i didn't want to do a chocolate cause it just, the color was gonna be off you know what i'm saying so i added the after i put in my food processor either way mash up your cookies i added too much butter this is where the experiment yeah, can't get my words out experiment went wrong you see that it's not supposed to be soupy it's just supposed to be a wet sand consistency so still kind of hard not liquefied don't add too much butter okay just add a little bit of butter just melt some butter make like a half a half a stick of butter you probably ain't gonna need that just use more cookies than i did i, I just needed one more bag of these oreo minis or can you, i don't you eat a lot of oreos like the the ones i use out of the yellow ones i don't eat a lot of these so i didn't want to get no big thing because i knew they weren't gonna get eight and i don't we don't waste food in this house so i refuse to buy things when i know we're not gonna eat it so like i said it, it was too liquefied, but I still made it work. So I just put it in the oven just long enough for me to basically make the cheesecake and make the basically make the cookie butter cheesecake part. So that's what I did. This is how I looked. I put it in the oven. The oven's on 350. Okay. I just put it in there. So started with my cream cheese. I did have a cream cheese sitting out. Make sure your cream cheese is softened. Okay. We need softened cream cheese. It's going to be easier to mix okay so i'm using my hand mixer i had the cream cheese sitting out you know have it sitting off like a good just make just long enough for it to become softened okay and i just mixed it just long enough to i don't know i just mixed it just for a little bit it, it ain't gonna really do much it is easier to mix when it's softened but it, it ain't gonna be cream cheese like until we start adding stuff so i started off with my confectioner sugar now i bought this so i say start with a half a cup and then taste it because you can taste it at this point i love cream cheese so i could just eat the cream cheese by itself so then i added in my egg after i added in my sugar i'm adding everything and mixing so i add the confectioner sugar then i mixed i added in the egg and then i mixed so add and mix don't just add everything at once if you add mix it the smoothness will come out just even more just perfection okay trust the process okay trust the process so then i just you know make sure you scoop the sides we got to get all that we need all that goodness off the sides it needs to all be going in the batter so like i said taste it as you go this was just me adding more confectioner sugar just adjusting the sweetness as i was adding things because it was kind of getting thrown off a little bit so just add a little bit as i went and mixed add and mix every add you mix you know what i'm saying okay okay then this is when it's gonna really start smelling like cheesecake add in a couple drops of vanilla extract mm -hmm. it's gonna smell like a cheesecake immediately like literally once you add the vanilla extract and that sugar it just literally starts smelling like cheesecake if you got some sour cream on hand i would recommend adding just like a a couple spoonful like a couple tablespoons of sour cream i didn't have none so i had to just kind of do what i did and it worked out well if you don't got no sour cream it's still cool but i did end up adding since i didn't have no sour cream i added another ingredient which ended up being flour because i seen somebody use flour in their cheesecake before so i just added like a tablespoon of flour you know that that ain't it i'm gonna show you in a minute hold on right there mm -hmm. added just a little just a little bit of flour just to see what was going what was the difference gonna be you know i always like to try something different every time i try every time i do something it's never really the same every time i make it unless it's something that's my favorite so at this point like i said adding and mixing adding and mixing that's what we're doing it's great we're making the cheesecake it was smelling so good so so good I could just uh, eat it by itself. 
Now the Speculoos cookie butter, I found this at Trader Joe's. It's a Trader Joe's more close to me. If you have a Walmart near you, I know it, it is at, like they do have Speculoos cookie butter at Walmart too. Um, I had to ask where it was at when I went to Trader Joe's cause I, you know, things where I expect things to be at is not usually where it is. I don't know where it would be at Walmart, maybe by the peanut butter. Hopefully it makes more It makes sense to me to be by the peanut butter. So I just melted that. I put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds and just melted it down just enough to be, become solidified i took the you know the tray from the oven i took it out with the uh, with the crust on it so now after i you know that i finished the cream cheese i mean not the cream cheese the cheesecake filling i added it on top of the crust okay so now we're gonna form the cheesecake to form the bites okay so like i said the oven is on 350 it's on 350 okay so we're just gonna add the batter on top. Add it on top, just spread it out. Just make sure it's evenly spread out on top of this Oreo cookie crust, okay? That's what we're doing. I love baking. I love just doing things in the kitchen. It's just so therapeutic. Now that warmed and melted cookie butter, we're just gonna add that in. Now this is the point where we are gonna, it's the point to make it look pretty, okay? This is the part I was waiting on. Get your toothpick, just kind of spread it out on the top, and you just use the toothpick and just make you some designs. Look at that. Oh my God. I love looking at that. It's so, I, lo I looked at it. It's like art. It's art. So beautiful. The colors. It's giving fall, you know? Browns are, I love brown. I love brown. And this cookie butter and the cheesecake together. It's a winner winner chicken dinner. I originally bought the cookie butter when I went to Trader Joe's to have it with some apples because cookie butter and apples is amazing. But then I seen somebody make some cookie butter cheesecake and I was like, oh, I got some cookie butter, bro. I can make some of that. Oh. And I got excited and every time I get an idea, I just gotta see it through. So as soon as I said, I, like as soon as I thought in my mind that I wanted to make it, I knew I was gonna make it. That's just how it works for me. That's why I said, if y'all got y'all got any recommendation, that's cool. But I'm gonna make any, I'm gonna make stuff anyway. You know, it's always something that's gonna pop in my head, and I'm gonna always make something. That's just who I am. So I'm always have something for you to watch and for you to see. So this is how I looked. I put it in the oven on 350 for 20 minutes. Okay, and then this is how I looked. So 20 minutes, and then I turn the oven off and let it sit in the oven with the oven off for an hour, and then I put it in the refrigerator. No, then I let it sit out for an hour, and then I put it in the refrigerator. So it become hardened, you know? That's what you gotta do. I saw somebody, it was a trick, that somebody, you know, leaving the oven off, but having it cracked open while the, like, while the oven was off, after it was done cooking. It's supposed to like prevent cracking or something. It didn't, it, it's not like it mattered for this because with the design on top, you can't really tell if it had cracks because it, it really don't matter. It's fire, you know? So after it, you know, was completely cooled down, that's when I went ahead and had to cut the bites, you know? I really wish like my family and my friends, like my closest ones, I wish that we all live close to each other. Like most of your closest people don't even live nearest you most of the time it's crazy so i end up enjoying these myself eventually because I, I can't eat stuff you know in one setting of course so i spread it out but it was a it's a delicious snack like if you love cheesecake i know you're gonna love this and you're gonna love the combination together just as much as i did cookie butter and cheesecake that don't sound amazing i know it do i know it do and i know just make it. If you want to make it, I, I just recommend you should. For real. For real. And if you know me, I'll make it for you eventually when I see you. So, you know. If you want me to make it. So, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure, make sure, make sure. I should just say it. Make sure twice. <laughs> Let me know if you make it, though. Just drop a comment down below. Okay? But yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you follow my Insta. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We building. I'm almost at 20K on TikTok, too. I said 20K. We on the way. We need to get... We, we getting this up. Look at this. We need to get this one up. We got to get it up. Okay? Let's do it.